So 100 locations. <laughs> the, it, geographically agnostic? Yeah, and that's, and that's the cool part about living in 2022 is that you can be more geographically agnostic than you ever could be before. You can have remote operations. You can uh, scale different departments without having to be in one geographical radius. And so there, there's ways to do it based on you know the, the goals of the people that you interact with, the the interest levels of people that might want to partner with you, you know, in, in various sites. And what we've seen too is, I saw this in Arkansas when I was dipping my toe in the the multi practice uh, waters, and others have seen it in other uh, comparable markets. Is that the the cannibalism is a real thing? Like especially if you're doing any type of a niche practice, and I'm sure you saw this. Peter, with your with your locations, where how big is the optimal radius so that a niched out type of practice does not auto cannibalize uh, a neighboring practice 20, 30 miles away? Like, what's the sweet spot? And you probably had to learn that lesson, you know, the hard way. And we we've done that with some split. Yes testing. and yes and no. I've had I've actually um, I'd, I'd love that you're bringing this up because I was going to actually do a whole pod on this, Greg, and I'm not going to spend a whole pod worth of time on it. But but yes cannibalization is a real thing for your practice, especially when you're doing multi, especially when you're in a metro area. So mm -hmm. what I did, uh, you know, Alex, I've learned the hard way by making um, emotional decisions or gut decisions because I've quote unquote lived here my whole life. I know, I'll know what to do. So I got burned by that. So I started making myself do data driven decisions instead. So I have taken, so there's an opportunity in my, in my area. I have a building that's coming available uh, in a great location, although it's it's within three to four miles of another location. Great roadside visibility. It's a standalone. It's an MRI clinic that's going uh, that's not renewing their lease. I didn't want to get romantic about the fact that, oh, gosh, I have a building and I'd love to put a dental practice in. So I wanted to justify it by data. So what I did is I exported all of my I hired a cartographer um, who then used a service online, which I found that you can use. I forget the service. Uh, exported all into a CSV file of all uh, 20,000 or 22,000 people that have ever been in my practice. And, and from that, Alex, it created a weather map of the density of where people are from. Um, and so that was a really cool exercise to do because it, luckily it confirmed my suspicion, but it was a nice thing to do in terms of like seeing uh, your ideal market. So like if you do this, even if you're not trying to expand, this is why, which is why I was trying to do the podcast on it, even if you're not trying to expand, it would be nice to say, wow, this area, we are really clobbering it in. What have we done here? Either step, either step and repeat another area or, wow, look at this opportunity over here that for some reason we are not tapping this community. And so data is just your best friend when you just don't, are kind of your backs up against the wall. Um, but, but, but so much, I love how you started that, Alex, with, with cannibalization as a real thing. And it, and it should be front and center when you are doing multiples. Um, because well, three, three miles, let me, I'll, I'll finish the last thing I'm saying. Three miles might be okay in a metro area, but like, you're, you know, I have a couple of rural practices too. And so, you know, 20 miles, 25 miles in that could, would be cannibalistic in that area. So it, it, it really, you got to run the data. So Alex, go. Sorry. No, I, I couldn't agree more. And I think it's, it would be negligent to not do that anymore. Like with, with the ubiquity of data and the ubiquity of being able to uh, you know, check and recheck and double check and triple check. But so many people don't though, Alex, well, they just well, run demographic reports on a said new location without well, running we, the cannibalism. We conflate, you know, too much importance on our guts and our instincts <laughs> because we, we <laughs> feel like we've been there, done that, got the t-shirt and, you know, we, we know best because we know the area. That's, that's what gets you is like, we, I thought that about Arkansas and then I bought this like fledgling location right after all the COVID stuff and had a plan to resuscitate it. And it ended up taking way longer and being way more capital intensive and requiring way more patience than I ever thought possible. But it was a really good learning opportunity and to do it in your backyard prior to doing anything remotely, I think is a, is a great prerequisite for anyone who's thinking about doing multi-practice because if you if there is a fire to put out, you'd rather it be 20 minutes away than totally. two states away. Totally, yeah, the, the proximity, yeah. Proximity to fight the fire is definitely a real thing.